Hey, welcome to Power Kempo. I'm Sifu Jim Driver, and today I want to talk to you about our life skills program. Um, we do karate. We're doing punching, kicking, boxing. We're kind of a boxing-based system, but we're built on self-defense skills. Moderately traditional with a lot of forms and katas, but that teaches movement. And honestly, just doing a form for an hour and getting the form or working through it over a period of time teaches perseverance. It teaches focus. It teaches patience. So these are all things that we do. Now, again, they translate into self-defense and fighting skills, which is what we need to have because, you know, although the world is generally a safe place when it's not a safe place, it's important to know how to handle yourself. But one of the things that karate stands out for is life skills. Um, a lot of the coaches and different things are not professional coaches. They work a day job and then they come and coach a team at night. Um, they may or may not be good at coaching. There's a lot of screaming and yelling. Um, whereas at our school, for example, we don't hire anybody off the street. We have uh, a karate program and our people come up through the karate program and at a certain point we teach them how to teach. We have a 10 level instructor training program based on the Satori Alliance and the best practices of the best karate studios in the world. Um, so one of the things that karate has built in over the last few years is life skills. Um, Jun Ri, the founder of Taekwondo, really developed that a long time ago. Other places picked it up and it has become pretty important. In every single class with our kids, we do what we call our martial arts mindset. And the martial arts mindset includes things like, um, I deflect negative energy, I accept positive energy, I'm running my own race. Um, these are the ideas that we do. And then we talk more deeply about this and give kids an idea of how to apply those things in their life. We say that these life skills help kids succeed on the mat, on the field, in school, and in life, right? So um, I just wanna to talk to you about our life skills program for a moment. Last month, when we were doing it, we worked on consistency. And consistency is hard, consistency is boring. <clears throat> we do this day after day after day, and it gets boring, or, or we drift away. You know, there's a high when you get your belt, and you drop down, and you go up. And this is in every activity in your life. There are highs and lows. So as we go through, we teach the kids how to get through the lows and get back to the highs, or how to dig yourself out of a ditch and get going again. So we talked about consistency, and we talked about um, we talked about the idea of, uh, of understanding that you don't want to learn something and then once you get it, you hold on to it with both hands and you don't want to let it go. We understand that how do we keep it interesting? We do what we call repetition without repetition. So one day I might do my technique and I just do the same technique 10 times in a row. The next technique I build, a, next day I build a form out of my techniques, but then I step and I change and I add more techniques and I made it interesting. The next day I do a race to see how many I can do in a short period of time. And the next day I say I'm gonna do four an hour, every hour, all day long, and I make it exciting and I change it up and I do what we call, again, repetition without repetition. That was one class. That was one of the entire month of, of trainings we did on teaching kids, kids how to remain consistent in whatever they do so that they can make progress and not have to retrain, retrain, retrain. So this month, what we're doing is intensity. How do I get it up? Imagine, how do I get my intensity higher, for example? So we in the class yesterday, we had our little dragons, our four, five, six-year-olds, and we're like, okay, I've done this a thousand times. <laughs> how do I get my intensity up that fast? And you know what? Being able to generate that intensity and being able to build from build from, I'm bored to, I can do it, I can do it. That's what's gonna really help them because they're gonna to need to do that in a lot of different things in their life. Uh, it might be, how do I get excited about math? How do I get excited about soccer? How do I get, uh, I'm struggling with my team. How do I get my intensity up and how do I keep it up? Because that's what's gonna make me win. Next month, we're doing optimism because you have to be successful. You have to be optimistic to be successful right? You have to believe your best days are in front of you. You have to believe you can do it. You have to believe even if you can't do it, you can get something out of it. And the following month, we're going to talk about resilience. And we're going to spend the month talking about bouncing back from failure, bouncing back from injury, bouncing back from disappointment. And we're going to give kids tools and tricks and strategies they can do to do it. And this is stuff we can do consistently over a period of time so that they have those skills so that when they get into a college, they don't drop out. So that when they get into a relationship, they understand how they persevere through the low spots to hold on when they get into things that they want to do, a job, and it's hard. Well, guess what? To be consistent in your improvement, to be, um, to be able to generate intensity as you need it, to be optimistic about where you're going in your future, and to be resilient for when maybe you don't get the promotion, but it's part of the plan, right? Maybe the thing you didn't get now is something you need to do. And we talk about it a lot 
two to three minutes in every class, but that's a lot. And again, we're not worried about winning. We don't teach a sport, we teach kids, and we are working on um, training the individual to succeed in life as opposed to training the athlete to win the game. So that's one of the things we do. Life skills are an important part of our karate program. It's not just kicking and punching. It's not just karate, it's not just self-defense. Life skills have become a really important part of the best karate programs in the world. Power Kempo is part of the Satori Alliance, an international organization dedicated to excellence in martial arts training. We train under Hanshi Dave Kovar in California. He's all over the world doing seminars and he brings the best stuff from the best schools back to us. Um, I hope you'll try our program. Uh, but if you don't, I'd like you to have the idea of life skills. We're gonna do these sessions about three times a week and this one is gonna talk about something we're doing in class. When we get to Wednesday, we're gonna be talking about our teaching techniques. And yes, you can apply these teaching techniques to raising your child, believe it or not. Um, this stuff works. And then the last one is gonna be self-defense oriented. Self-defense and martial arts and fighting oriented, which is gonna be really cool. Three times a week we're gonna do this for now. So click the button to subscribe, follow us on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook. We are Power Kenpo Karate on Facebook. And uh, we're going to put out some good stuff, and we hope you'll be part of it. Thank you, and thanks for being here with us today.